Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. In one of my past videos, I have uh, spoken about uh, the Omni key, uh, the Omni key reader, when I also showed you in my video how to read basic card data, especially the ATR answer to reset values uh, using my own uh, C sharp program. So somebody actually contacted me saying, how can they can uh, if they want to write some tags or how they want to change some values onto the cards how can they do that without actually writing any code so if you even if you are not a software developer you just want some program which is available on the market you just want to uh, download it and just uh, try to uh, play with the card and play with the reader so which tool can you use so i use a tool called as nfc tools i'll take you to the website so this is a website which has an app called as nfc tools it's available for windows for the mac and even for the raspberry pi itself as well as of course for linux platforms so you can use this tool to uh, to write tags so i'll quickly show an example of uh, how i am uh, how I actually i'm using this software on a mac so i have connected my reader and i'll just start the application so this is what this video is going to be about how to quickly use RFC tools to change or uh, to write some tags onto the unencrypted cards, I should say. I, it, I have not seen it working with, or at least I don't have any experience of uh, trying to use it with some encrypted cards. So we will just keep it to simple in this video. So I have launched the application here. I have a key fob, which is in uh, my fair club. Let's see what it shows. So I'll keep the key fob on the reader which you should see on your screen now. So I'm going to show both my computer screen as well as the reader connected. So as you can see, so I've kept the key fob on the reader and this is what it shows. An XP Mayfair Classic 1K card shows the ATR of that card as well as a unique identifier. And if we, so we have these tabs here, information, memory, write, other, option and about. So in this video, we'll just talk about uh, these three tabs really information memory and write so let us go to the memory tab so if you click on it you can see it shows you all the available memory which is available on the on this uh, key fob which you can uh, change it and write whatever data you want to write on it really so and yeah so if you go to the right tab here you can say add a record which allows you to add a record and when you click on it this uh, app NFC tools allows uh, these options so this is the type of data which you can keep on this uh, unencrypted Mayfair classic card or uh, text a URL or a phone record or a SMS or a contact details or an address various things really so what we can do is see just to see how does the information looks like without us writing anything so as you can see, uh, if you go back again to the information tab, it says there are 16 sectors of four blocks, 16 bytes per block, basically. So 16 bytes per block. So here you have address 01. It starts with address 01. And if you scroll to the bottom, this is address uh, 3E, which I believe in uh, should be there it is. So, so address 0, 01, 0, 04, 0, 05, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. So 16 bytes per block and it has 16 sectors of four blocks. So total arounds to 1000 bytes, 1024 bytes, which is uh, one kilo, one kilobyte. Yeah, so that's basic. So let us try to write some tag onto it and see. Like to let's see, add some value. So I'll go to add a record, and I'll say text. I'll enter some text. Uh, see, I will say, "Welcome to my channel." Keep a space here. Let us see how this text actually gets written onto the card. So I'll say, "Okay." and 
uh, once you are done this, it is still not actually committed this data to the card. So just click on write. Okay, so your records have been returned onto your NFC chip. Just press OK. Let's read it back. So if you go to memory, it should read it again. And can we spot it here where it actually it has written it? Can we see it? Well, I can't see it. I don't know. I don't see it. So, yeah, what are we doing wrong here? Well, it shows up here, record zero. Welcome to my channel. So maybe what we can do is, let's try to uh, lift the key fob and put it again onto the reader and see if, if it changes anything. So I'll pick up the key fob, put it back again. And this time, well, it shows that there is a record zero here. So the text comes back. So, okay, it has written onto it. But can we see it in this, uh, in any of these sectors and these data here? Does it show any text here? So let's see if we actually double click on it to see if it shows up anything. There is nothing here. There is nothing here. See, here we can see something now. So we have our text here. It is, so it has written it onto address 04. So if you click on this one, which shows you the entire full scope. So address 04. So here you can see our text here. Welcome. Let's click on uh, this 05 data. So welcome to my channel. So here it is. So this is where the entire information has been written onto. And uh, this is, is actually shown in hexadecimals. So this is not pure text, this is hexadecimals. I was just trying to make simpler as to how I actually started to play with this, uh, with this application. So if you click on this icon next to it, you should be able to see the actual text value of whatever this information is here is. So this is what is showing you in, in the UTF-8, which is welcome to my channel. And in hexadecimals, it is in the, it is these bytes basically. So this is actually our data. Welcome to my channel has been written on to 04 and 05. So this is a proof that it uh, does get written onto the chip. And uh, yeah, so this is what it's shown. Let's try to add some other kind of record. So I'll say add a record. Uh, let us see how about a telephone number. Okay. So let's say 000, 0, 0 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And I'll just say write again. Okay. Your record has been written onto your NFC chip. Okay. Let's go back to memory. It will read the card memory again. So last time it had written onto 05. So let's see if there is something in 06. And here is the telephone number. 001-1234567 which has been written on to the next byte 06. So the trick is to basically refresh this information which I am doing by actually uh, lifting up the key fob and putting it back again onto the reader and then uh, this gets updated. So yes it is at least for me this is slightly slightly trickier to use but I think it should do for simple usage if you want to write some uh, tags or if you want to write some other information onto your key fobs or into simple plain simple cards uh, this tool should be good and it's available also on your iPhone as well so if you have an iPhone uh, I have an iPhone 7 which does not allows me to write onto this chip but I think if you have iPhone 8 and above uh, should be fine so if I believe correctly yeah this is available onto the Mac on on the App Store as well. So you can use this to write uh, tags onto this uh, cards really. I hope this video is small video is useful really for people who just want to you have some kind of an app to write NFC tags just to play with their readers if they have bought a reader if there are if they are 
planning to buy a reader, then I think uh, this should be a good starting point. Even if you are not a software developer, you just want to some have some kind of an application to start paying with the smart cards. I think this can be a good starting point. Of course, in my future uh, future videos, I will we will be covering all this how to do that via our own code, how to write our own code to accomplish uh, this similar kind of thing. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye bye.